You don't always have to spend your savings in buying lots to color grade your images. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can color grade your images without using any lots in Photoshop. Make sure you watch the video to the end because I'm also going to show you how you can create your own lots after you finish color grading your images. Without any further ado, let's roll the intro. First, you should understand the secret behind any amazing picture starts from getting it right from the camera. To have more flexibility in adjusting your colors, make sure you shoot RAW and then your color profile at Adobe RGB. Second, make sure you correctly set your Photoshop by keeping your color space at Adobe RGB 1998 and then your image depth at 16 bit. Now let's open an image to see how we can color grade inside Photoshop. So for this tutorial, we are going to be color grading this skin and then we are also going to be color grading this outdoor portrait. Now let's begin with the color grading the skin tune. For us to color grade the skin tune, let's try or let's attempt creating a melanin skin tune. How to do that is by going to our adjustment option here and then we select our black and white. Notice our picture is completely desaturated. So what we are going to do next is by going to our blend mode and then we select multiply. Notice how we are having this dark skin, beautiful dark skin tune. But for us to control it, we are going to be controlling our reds and yellows since skin is like combination of reds and yellows maybe i can say with orange but here the only two colors that we can touch and control our skin tone are just the, the reds and the yellows so for us to control we are either to brighten our reds and brighten our skin or we are or, or we are to darken our reds to darken our skin tone for this uh skin what we are going to be doing is we are going to be brightening our skin a little and then coming down to our yellows and bright up the skin by brightening our yellows as well so let's do before after before and after if it is too dark for your liking don't forget you can always play with your opacity so let's take down our opacity and see how it will affect the skin. By leaving it at 70 is fine. Let's do before, after, before and after. We have already getting a beautiful mono, uh, melanin skin tune. If you look at this image already. Before, after, before and after. Something you need to understand is there is no one way of doing it. You, always, you just have to... All, uh, to uh, play around with your colors, maybe using uh, using a selective color, color balance, hue and saturation until you reach to the kind uh, to the color of skin you are actually looking for. Because you most times uh, 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 encounter different kind of skins which will definitely require different method of color grading so there is no one way of doing it so let's try and um, uh, move further and uh, on this image and see what we can create again let's add our color balance and see what we can do we can add our reds wow this is nice before after before and after it's not something hard it's just something for you to play around with your colors let's increase our increase our yellows and see this is nice as well before after before and after let's do the overall before and after from what from where we start to where we are right now we're holding our alt and before after before and after this is nice let's try and uh, play around with our selective colors and see it's not necessary if you try a particular uh, option 
it will work for you it's just something like trial and error you try it work fine if it didn't uh, if it refused to work then you undo or you delete and then go for an alert, uh, alternative option so let's try working on the selective color by selecting our rights yes Oh, I like the red of his, uh, this red of a thing. This red skin is nice. Let's move to our yellows. This is nice. Let's go before and after and see. Before, after, before and after. Now, assuming we are satisfied with this color grading of skin, and then we want to cl uh, create a color lookup table for it does lots so that next time we won't have to undergo of uh, all this creation of different kind of layers with the adjustments and everything it's just for us to create uh, to, to uh, pick up our lot which we, we created and apply for it to save our time and get the color grading done so for us to create the lots what we are going to do here is by going to our file and then we select our export and then we look for color lookup table so for the color lookup table the description i usually leave it like this i don't do any adjustment on the description and then for our quality i usually leave it on medium because medium like uh, usually work for all images and then for the formats, I usually uncheck everything and then leave my cube option checked. And then I press my OK option. And then this is where I used to rename my lots. So here I will, for this tutorial, let's rename the lot to tutorial and then we select where we want to keep it let's keep it on our desktop and then we click save all right for us to try the lots let's delete these adjustments layers we did and then we go for our adjustment option and then we select color lookup table we go for load and then load 3d lots and then we go for where we save it as for this tutorial we keep it inside tutorial uh, inside desktop so here is it as we name it tutorial and then we double click on it and load it here we go our color grading is there as a lot so anytime we want to use it you just have to go to our option or to our adjustment option color lookup and then we navigate to it and then apply it to our image so that's how I create my color lookup table. So let's move to this auto portrait and see how we can color grade and create lots for it as well. So to edit my auto portraits, what I'm going to do first is to look at the picture and see what colors am I having on the picture. So as for this picture, I'm having blues on the sky, the green and yellows on the uh, grass and plants behind her and then as well on her skin i'm having yellows reds and then oranges so first what i'm going to do is by creating an adjustment layer of hue and saturation and then i select my blues so usually what i do to, to blues is i will touch the hue and change them to a different color like this this is fine for me and then for the lightness i usually like to darken the blues a little it works better for me like this is okay around minus 45 is okay and then i change to my greens and then for greens i usually desaturate them down that's the greens from my plants but always notice in plants you mostly find greens 
and yellows so now if i'm going to touch yellows it is also going to affect the face of my model the skin of my model so to avoid that what i'm going to do is by going to create a new hue and saturation layer and then i select my yellows what i usually do to yellows is i will desaturate them down i will reduce their saturation i think this is okay for me but to avoid affecting my model face what i'm going to do is i will select my normal brush and then i toggle my brush to black so as usually you know blacks hide and then white reveal so to hide the effect of the desaturation which i did on the hue and saturation layer for my model face is i will make sure i uh use normal brush with the black foreground to hide and then i brush on her face and then other parts of her body which i you know the uh yellow will affect the desaturation of the yellow will affect so this is okay for me all right let's do before after before and after at least we have created a little different to our image so the next thing that i'm going to do is i will go to my adjustment and then i select color balance first i will work on my shadows and then i'll push a little blue to my shadows before after before and after it's already fine for me and then for my mid tones let me increase the reds a little before after before and after i usually doesn't too much when it comes to color grading the most important thing is study your colors are the colors friendly to each other if they are not look for a color to change the hue of it as in change its color to a different color so that it will correspond with the rest of the colors that are in the image that's the secret behind it if the colors are not friendly the picture would definitely not look pleasant to the eyes but as far as you understand your colors and know which colors like are friendly to each other and then you try and bring them close together so to create lot for this image as well is the same procedure we are also going to file export and then we look for color lookup table we keep it medium and then we make sure all formats are unchecked only the cube uh, format that we will check and then we place we press ok option and then we as well rename our lot to what we want let's name it outdo and then we press save and then it's ready for our future editing actually that's how i color grade and create lot for my images thank you for watching the video if you like the video please hit the like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification so that you will be the first whenever i upload a latest content